What's hey, up? Hey, Milk Street. What's up? How are Hello. we? All right. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay, sick. <laughs> All right. I think uh, I think we're good. Oh, we're good sick. on the interview portion. Okay, so Milk Street from Bangor, Maine, uh, three piece. Um, is here to play some uh, some music for us, and uh, I don't know how you guys feel about just jumping into some tunes right off the bat. Yeah. Does that work for you guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what are you gonna play first? This song is our next single. We haven't even announced it, but it comes out in July. It's called Peyote. Oh man, awesome. Okay, so this is Milk Street. You're listening to it live on Local Motives. Help you see Jesus Christ himself. But hey man, I'm not trying to trip right now. I think I just need some self-help. And you don't want to fix this anymore. We lost interest when you were young and found that our closest friends were the ones that were waging. Was inside our heads and you find comfort and sadness of being alone. And you're always searching for the hidden message. Questions, all the reasons that we left her, all the reasons we're stressing. Sorry, I don't want a part of this anymore. And you don't wanna be happy. You don't wanna finally confess that all the reasons that you're overweight and stressed out are the same reasons you feel out of place and underdressed. You came to me like the Holy Spirit from the South. South of heaven, but now you're just a black dot setter headed my mouth, and now you're just a vomit in a toilet bowl at a party, while the last bit of my brain's drowning in the party, and you drank way too much on that night in New Jersey, sitting in the backseat of her car, begging for love, but you should have known I was already gone. Too far gone. Stuck in this vicious cycle. Should I go to work or go to hell? Maybe we just need some cartoon bandits. The tracks he left when he off himself. I need a bigger breath. He says, Peyote could help you see Jesus Christ himself. But hey, man, I'm not trying to trip right now. I think I just need to help out. play another song yeah awesome let's do one more and then we'll talk Bob, um, trying it down. this song came out two weeks ago and it's had like a lot of listens so thank you to everyone who's listened to this so far it's on spotify apple music all the stuff <laughs> you were outside puking as i was slowly coming down strutting in the morning in my boxers through your house and I'll move to Florida Anything sorted out, but I hate Florida We never made it to Chinatown Balls and that's okay, but swim too hard to go away. God, please let me clean me up. But you 
From the bong, he thinks it makes him sober somehow. You still suck your thumb, you're four feet older now. Emotional baby boy won't last long in this house. Can you turn off the TV so I can turn it back on? I see you curled up in your living room. I haven't left your barn. Throw it all up, swallow it back down. Climb this ugly spiral. God, I should have left. I should have moved to Vermont. I should have moved to Vermont. I should have moved to Vermont. I should have moved. 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 All right, so let's let's talk a, bit, a minute if you guys are are into yeah. Let's uh, let me uh, let me get some levels on your mics here because it sounds a little different than it did before. We, uh, <laughs> no, understandably. There we go. All right, so we are joined uh, tonight in live in the studio by Milk Street, uh, a uh, a band from Bangor, old. Orono Old Town area. <laughs> yeah, Greater Bangor area. Greater yeah. Bangor area. Um, awesome. And you guys have been a band for a relatively short time, but you've been playing, some of you have been playing together for a while. So how about maybe tell our listeners the story of uh, the secret origin of Milk Street? <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, me and Gabe, were in a band called Spaced with our good friend Josh. Um, and we were playing, we were writing music from like 2018 till last year. <coughs> um, and we released, and then and then uh, we were playing around uh, Orno area, so we all moved there, um, and Harry's from there. Um, so we met Harry because he was in a plethora of other bands. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, we, Josh, stepped away from the band to help run the studio that him and me run together in Bangor, um, and we were like, there's no better fit than Harry. And then Aww. it was right after we changed the name to Milk Street and released the first record as under the name Spaced. That was all with Josh, recorded with Josh and everything. He was um, a dr- he was your former drummer. Yeah, up until our single that came out called Just Lust. Okay. And then um, everything like the la- Chinatown and everything we've Milk Street. Really, the way we've been looking at it is Milk Street is is us. This is the band, and then right. Space was with with jo- that era of things was with Josh. But same same kind of chemistry and same people and you know the family environment and stuff. But Absolutely. You mentioned something about the the album title being uh, like a, a, a um, link Par- to Paramore. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we met a guy in the music community. He's in a band called uh, Pine Tree Riot, and he was like, "Yeah, we That's opened for this name. band called Riot Act." 
And then I was like, these guys are dope. They're going to go places. And like a year later, they released an album called Riot Act, and they were called Paramore. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I was awesome. like, oh, that's a good idea. That's like, we should just name the album space. And then we all got tattoos matching. Gabe, me, and Josh got matching tattoos that say spaced. Uh-huh. Um, and there was a whole story behind it where Gabe passed out and sliced his head open <laughs> after getting the tattoo and was like bleeding on the floor. And I took a picture, and that's what the album cover is. You pass, uh, G- uh, Gabe, you passed out <laughs> uh, during your tattoo? <laughs> no, I, I got through the tattoo totally fine. Jonah passed out during the during tattoo. tattoo. Yeah, oh, I took wow. uh, to come back. Yeah. Was it your first tattoo? So <laughs> You? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just taking pokes on my couch. I, I went oh. to the bathroom. Oh, and nice. Just yeah. Passed out like 20 minutes later for some reason. In I the know bathroom. It was like shock or something. He was like in the bath. We had played two, three shows back to back, and oh, then yeah. and then we hadn't really slept or drank or eaten anything, and then we were drinking. It's the lack of food. And, and, oh, and then yeah, and, and then the we mix. got tattoos like right after, <laughs> and it was late at I night. I had Little Caesars. That might have done me in. He was in the bathroom. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he was in the bathroom, and pass then out, pass out. I was like, he's been in there for like a half hour, and then he just randomly opens the door, goes, guys, there's blood. There's a lot of blood. Oh. And then I go in, he like leans against the wall, and I was like, this is a great album cover. And I took a picture. And all of our friends that were with us hey, that aren't yo, in the band. Yo, get a picture of this. <laughs> and all my friends that were with us at the time that aren't in the band were like, what are you doing? Like, he's, what? And I was like, he's, he's going to want this. this. He's definitely going to want he's this. He's going to want it. Yeah. I've known him forever. He's going to want this. Nice. Uh, now, uh, Harry, on the drums there, yeah. uh, you are playing drums in multiple. Do you still play in multiple bands? Or yeah, are you I just do. primarily Milk Street at this point? Um, I play in four bands. Dang. Um, yeah, one of them is. That was uh, me not swearing. <laughs> yeah, one of them is um, my project called Gunshot Glitter. I write for that, and the rest I play drums for. You're selling I, it. So, so you're a multi-instrumentalist. <laughs> yeah, I play. Um, I play guitar. I sing in Gunshot Glitter. Um, That's cool. And you're 18. Yes, I am. I love these Newly. this this youthful energy that we're we're bringing into locomotives lately. <laughs> uh, uh, we actually have a former uh, performer uh, helping out in our. Uh, vo- he's a new volunteer. Aiden is here in the in the room with me, and and he's another younger, uh, younger guy. Uh, so yeah, no, that's cool. Four bands. So is the tell me a little bit about the Bangor scene uh, in terms of uh, do you play drums for every band in the Bangor scene, or is it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> close. Uh, <laughs> every, but I mean, yeah, it's it's cool. It's gotten more. Um, you know, there's more variety in the scene now than there used to be, I think. And a lot of that's uh, thanks to Jonah, like I would say, and like Milk Street just in general. Um, we've got like my, f- the first band I was in was called Borzoi. And some of the first shows we played was, they were with um, Spaced at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and like. And you guys were called the Kids at the time. Well, the first well, show we had. Yeah, the you. first <laughs> show we ever played, we were called the Kids. Um, <laughs> But yeah, then we changed the name to Borzoi, um, and I mean, yeah, like a lot of the a lot of the scene kind of started getting, like we started getting more punk acts, you know, because a lot of it was just hardcore before. Yes, you know, when I yeah. grew up in Mid Coast Maine, and Bangor was one of the closest uh, urban areas to mm-hmm. where uh, to where I grew up in the Blue Hill area. And uh, I remember Bangor being primarily like a metal town. Yeah, yeah. it was mm-hmm. a lot of hardcore it's and metal hardcore and whatever. And, you know, I think the, the floodgates started to open up with, with space and Borzoi and whatever. So, I mean, it's really new still, it feels, you oh, know. That's cool. Yeah, so there's yeah. a lot of bands and there's a lot of active, like, people going to shows. Yeah, and yeah. New yeah. bands forming and constantly. We, we have cool. friends. We've made new friends with um, – these pe- amazing people in this band from Portland called The Worst, and Will Bradford mm. was, like, from Bangor, he said. Peeps. And we were talking, and he's like, dude, Bangor was so stagnant for so many years. Like, I just didn't want to play shows here. But, like, then we played a show with him down there, not to speak for him, but uh, or up there. Yeah. Not to speak for him, but he was like, he, he's, he's, they've been back since multiple times because they're yeah. like, oh, there's something, there's, like, people who come out to shows. There's something going on. Yeah, um, that's cool. Yeah, and they're, so, they are, they, they'll go, they'll go where, the, where there's, mm-hmm. where there's yeah, audiences. They're, uh, they're, they're, so they're born good, performers. So we got to play with them, like, five shows in a row like a month ago. We Such a great experience. Oh, we went to, like, yeah. New Hampshire with them. And the Brooke and, and everyone in the band is just amazing. Brooke's one so of my cool. faves. She <laughs> actually was the sound person on the first, uh, my last band, my last active band. Oh, uh, our really? first show, Brooke did sound for it that's at the a, old so Geno's. Cool. Oh, really? That's that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. she's she's amazing. They're all really yeah. amazing people. We played, we went to Boston with them. It was it was great. Oh, um, that's great. Awesome. Well, I love that the main scenes are, are interconnected. Yeah. But I also love that Bangor is like is doing so much because we had weight from yeah from weight Bangor is, area that on was the show. Weight is so good. pre-COVID they were, they were the only like non-hardcore band that was like really 
getting into to, to sh- sh- play in Bangor That's area because the hardcore scene kept the hardcore scene hardcore. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, then very gatekeepy sometimes. It was a little bit. We had bad, some bad experiences pre-COVID trying to get shows, and then post-COVID, known as playing shows. So I was like, we yeah. should start before Let's anyone <laughs> else. <does." laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> and get and then we messaged like pizza places and places that would let us. And then we we, we kind of bullied people. We were like, <laughs> you're gonna play music and you're gonna like. Yeah, it, it was like the opposite. Of, it was we were trying you to get you were to come out persuasive yeah. as opposed very to bullying. Well, we it told sound quite so bullying. <laughs> we told OHOP you're gonna have music <laughs> and then yeah. <laughs> What's OHOP? Uh, oh, it's uh, Orno House of Pizza. It was like the the big uh, college yeah. bar in town. And, of course. And I was like, well, let's just do music. Let's just do it. And then yeah. and then that was where it started. And then we just kept playing shows there. And then more venues started to open back up after COVID. And then. Yeah. We slowly started to play more and more shows, and Harry started more bands, so the owner scene had more bands to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, so the first song we play, you played. Uh, um, it's funny when we're doing the radio show; often it becomes this collective, like we, like I had anything to do with yeah. it. Um, but uh, Peyote uh-huh. was the first one. Yeah. Uh, anything that you want to share about that? But um, um, uh, well, well it was the first song that I played with you guys yeah, it was the I first the, song that was brought to me i sent the demo over and yeah like, that one's one we should work on. and it's still and it's still one of my favorites mm-hmm. to play um now all the songs you do as milk street you've written as milk street for milk street uh, it's not you're not playing songs from your former bands in this band or well, we is play, there some bleed over we're actually the song we'll play next is off of the first record but it's released yeah. as milk street just under space right 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 or, or the album's called space but it's still on our milk street page and yeah. everything yeah um a lot of the song, like Peyote, lyrically, and some of the like a, a very uh, older, v- archaic version of the acoustic, the guitar part for that first song, um, I wrote when I was like sixteen, and I used to go to my dad, and we would have these conversations, and and my dad is a user of <laughs> paraphernalia. What can I say? Sure. And <laughs> and uh, he, we would have these amazing conversations. So I stopped by his house, um, passing by, and one day he was like, "We're just talking about." different things he paraphernalia said, and he, he said, said peyote can help you see <laughs> he did he was like Pe- bud peyote can help you see jesus christ himself and i'm like <laughs> thanks dad that's good advice we, we're talking about some introspective stuff nice and some lyric, mental illness bro. stuff and i was like N- yeah i was like nice lyric bro yeah write that down yeah, yeah no so it, uh jonah are you the primary songwriter in the band or do you guys write together lyrically lyrically i am yeah i feel gross saying that, he, he normally yeah. comes up with like the progressions and then yeah. we add like some spice and we workshop it yeah. together though yes kind of exactly. all sit in a circle with guitars and like yeah. originally it was just like he says peyote could help you see jesus christ himself and originally the, the chorus was like feel happy you don't want to feel happy you don't want to fix this anymore It's so much easier to clean up and walk away And then that turned into But you see me So it like totally changed over time Like That's, it just it's, Yeah, it, it, it becomes a, something something unique yeah. I do apologize to our listeners They can't hear the guitar that oh, uh, oh, was sorry. being strummed at that point no, Because cool. we just have the, uh, the uh, interview mics on But um, let's do some more songs Yeah Do you want to do like Two more songs? Do you want to do it like that? Do you want to do? We we had three more, but we can do two. You want to do three? Carry the way. Well, is that so? You have three more total songs, or you you? Uh, uh we have uh, yeah yeah to- total three or four more total songs. I yeah. think. Okay, yeah. well, I want you to play as many songs as you want oh. to play. But I was just saying before we get oh. back to like doing more interview, yes. like maybe like do like yes. two songs yeah, and yeah. then yeah. Totally. Um, all right. Where's so um, well, actually no, you know what? I got to think because I'm I'm running I'm running this show here at eight o'clock. I have to say something to the to the listeners. Okay. So. Let's do one song, one song, and then we'll come back on and okay, talk well, a little bit more, gotcha. and then I'll say the things I have to say. This song, that's perfect. This song is called Coffee Cups, and I wrote it. This is, I wrote way long ago. Uh, <laughs> it's the only like happy love song-ish type thing. Uh, no, I, wrote, I shouldn't say that. That sounds wrong. I'm getting everything completed. It's, <laughs> I wrote this. It's the only happy song I wrote. It's not a love song. It was just uh, adoration of what a relationship can be. It wasn't about anyone specific. How about that? Cool. <laughs> this nice. is our happiest one, this is the and happy it's also song. the last happy one. It's about one. being in love, but it's also there, sad. This is the last v- this happiness you'll feel in this hour show. Exactly. No, no, uh, yes. I think it, that's uh, so. Uh, before you start, I'm yeah, just yeah. No, gonna tell start. everybody you're listening to Milk Street on Local Motives on WMPG, and yeah.
Nova just can't get it on This migraine's lasting way too long Casanova just can't turn it on This migraine's lasting way too long Get up and try again Get up and try again Try again, just like those empty coffee cups in my car. No, we try hard enough, they'll go far. Too much coffee, not enough sleep, but you are more than enough for empty soda cups in my car. Sleeping in basements clearly got as far. I thought my life would be so bleak, but you are more than enough for. All right. Well, we got a few minutes to talk before I have to say my thing at yeah. eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that song called? That was called Coffee Cups. Coffee, coffee cups. cups. You said that already. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't write it down because I'm, I'm slacking. No, don't. Uh, that, coffee Cups. That's the happy song. It's the ha- happyish song. And right. that's happy, but... from the first. <laughs> first album. Yeah, first it came. Album. Uh, it was like the last song we wrote. I actually just we recorded. Um, oh, I can hear. Second to last. Second to last. Yeah, second to last. Other than the title track. Um, but I recorded that. Um, we recorded the acoustic guitar in my bedroom, and then we went to a cabin to write some other songs. And I ended up, we ended up recording drums there, and then I would like did MIDI violin and some other stuff, and lead guitar in my bedroom on the sun porch of our old I didn't place. Know that. So yeah, <laughs> and then like Gabe came in my bedroom and played bass, I think, or I went in your bedroom and we played because we lived together at the time. Yeah. Or we still oh, okay. do. Now was yeah. that the same t- same session where the toilet overflowed? Yeah, we went to a cabin <laughs> at my grandfather's place because he was out of state, and uh, <laughs> the first night I got out of work and we went there to stay for the week. And the toilet overflowed poop water all over the basement. Oh, that's gross. But the basement was finished, so we had to keep the door shut. And I like, called him, like, hey, man, like, so I was on He's in Florida. He's like, oh, I don't know what you want me to do. And I was like, <laughs> I don't, I'm, I got to clean want, it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> I was like, I got to clean it. And he's like, all right, well, good luck. <laughs> and oh. then, so we called it some poop poop lantis let's let's <laughs> oh i see for the radio so <laughs> for the it's radio. the uh, the 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 sanitized yeah, yeah. Hey. except it's not too um, sanitized yeah, over no, there yeah i gotcha yeah, um disgusting. all right so one thing that i thought would be interesting to let our uh our audience know is one of the things that's cool about so we've got a three piece here um mm-hmm. jonah is playing an acoustic guitar and everybody, uh, and then with the electric bass uh, that that Gabe is playing. So I think that's an interesting setup. How did you settle upon that uh, 
Is that just like how your style I, evolved? We like or? folk punk. We like folk punk. Yeah, I, a lot of the uh, all almost all of the first album. Yeah, no, literally all of the first. I write everything on acoustic guitar first. Right. I'm. I learned on acoustic guitar when I was like eight. I'm most comfortable with it. I would rather play it all the time. The every single show we had with like Josh's space with all electric. I was like, can. I, like I, I want to write songs that sound better on acoustic guitar, so I can play acoustic guitar live. I feel much better and more like passion singing through that, with that. Um, but so then when we had an opportunity to change it up, I was like, all of these songs sound like better on acoustic guitar, anyways. But I also wanted to add in like the on the album we add in some electric guitar, the new album, to like add some dynamics so that the chorus has like electric but the verse doesn't. So I'm like, I need to be able to do that. And uh, I loved yeah. Scott Pilgrim growing up, so I was like, they did it. <laughs> oh yeah, I do it. Nice. yeah. I guess it is kind of like the Scott Pilgrim stuff. With yeah, that with Sex Bob on yeah, or whatever. Like, yeah. Well, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, awesome. Uh well, that's cool. Okay, so um, uh, yeah. Um, I have to say this thing. It's I have to it's say it specifically at eight o'clock, but it's not time yet. It's not so quite that's, that time. So I, I, I have to say it within. Oh, you, you know what? Up. It is that time. Hey, I can say it within five minutes of the of the uh, top of the hour. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out your vocal mics for a second, uh-huh. and I am going to tell. <laughs> you want this? Sure. My viewers like you. Thank you. It's just water. I want you to know I can't see you guys at all. Like at all. Thanks. You look hot in that corner. I'm very. Well, yeah, my prescription is sometimes you'll, like, look at me, and I'll be like, he's looking at me, but, like, only kind of. Your eyes, I can peek into your nose, which is, like, your mouth, and you're just, like, up, you'll play a record. It's hot, Wait, so you can't see all those people standing here? This is what Jonah sees. This is what Jonah sees. Jonah Vision. Is he talking to us? That's cool. So another thing that's cool about WMPG is that we support local music. I hope we should, we should keep the camera on, you know, for this part. He's talking right now. Almost 30 years. He's talking right now. itself has been on the air for almost just about 50 solid years. And we are celebrating that anniversary this summer. Can you hear summer, Oh, so we should acknowledge Cam. 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 Oh, my God. So you know? No. The Shell Silverstein of our band. Huh? Oh, shit, the Shell Silverstein. Cam, I've acknowledged whether you like it or not. Also, what you're what else coming up? Party, yeah, you're right. Isn't that sick? Is it really bad? I don't know what. I'm not making it all. I'm not making it all. It's, 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 it's all possible. It's all possible <laughs> in the realm of the story. So anyway, my name is Bob. I'm the host of most now. Um, I'm one of the hosts. And I'm the producer, and we are joined here in the studio with Milk Street from Bangor, Orono, Old Town area. And I'm going to bring them back on with their microphones. Hey, guys. Bello. Hello. Hey. I'd like to make it known that I'm not proud to be from Bangor. You should be proud. From, my <laughs> grandparents are from Bangor. Listen, nothing wrong with most people from Bangor. My grandfather was an orthodontist <laughs> in Bangor really? for many, many most years. People. I got braces in Bangor. Uh, he, like he, six. He's been dead for a long time. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm almost 50 years old, so, you know, like my... But uh, but he did have a practice, so whoever took his practice over might have done your stuff. Maybe it was right across from Petco. I don't even know that there. I don't know where the. No, it wasn't there. It was downtown. His practice. Oh, okay. okay. It was. Um, there was. What was? It? I think it was Main Street. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's funny because my mom listens to the show, so she might text me and be like, "Your grandfather's practice was on," you know, and I'll be like, "Oh yeah," but no <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. no one really cares. Uh, other cool. than the fact that I grew up going to Bangor and. One of my favorite old bookshops that used to be there called Lippincott Books. It's probably been closed for many, many years. See, uh-huh. Bangor has a charm. Like when I look, I grew up in Skowhegan, and Dave Ooh. grew up kind of near there. So we would draw, and Skowhegan's like way worse than Bangor. So Scow Vegas. They have a sign now that says that. <laughs> do it, they? It, it, it looks like the Hollywood <laughs> sign. It's above VIP on the hill. Oh, that's amazing. Like, Hut, I thought that was like people do paraphernalia. In. Uh, <laughs> they do paraphernalia there. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Between the Giffords and the paraphernalia parking lot is a sign that says Scow Vegas. Oh, that is amazing. But the uh, oh, actually, Scow Hegan has a pretty good radio station. Paraphernalia 
Yeah, yeah, they do. They. Uh, I actually was going to volunteer there at one point. Um, it's who who Scow Radio is what it's called. Uh, yeah, who Scow Radio? Because yeah. I was driving through and they were playing Clark Kent, which yep. is uh, the. Do you know Clark yeah, Kent? Yeah. It's the um, drummer from the Police solo. Yeah, they have. And I was like, who plays this? They also right. played um, the bassist for Weezer. Uh, remember the guy in the Bangor Radio told us about it. They were they were playing oh, that. The um, Rentals. Of P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends of P. Yeah, that was yeah. Their song. So they play some cool stuff, um, but no. So Bangor. But it was only like, comes in for like two minutes. No, so exactly. It's like you're driving where through Scout Vegas, and it's like, okay, here, where's that good station? Exactly. And you can always tell where it is. And where I was, where I lived with my mom there, uh, my amp, if it was on, if I had my overdrive pedals on, it would pick up the radio station, so I could turn oh, up the man. game and just use it like a radio. <laughs> <Is that piracy? laughs> we actually had a uh, we had a situation like that here at one point where there was for some reason there was like a, a co- like one of our not our radio station, yeah. of course, it was like someone else's, and it would come through all the amps. Yeah. And it was like we don't want this because it's like you know Pat right. Benatar or whatever would be playing. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, so this is local motives. Not right, right, right. Pat Benatar. Huh? <laughs> funny, um, so, uh, so okay, so that was coffee cups that you played. You played Peyote, played Chinatown. Let's talk before you start playing mm-hmm. again about where people can find your music. A- everywhere we have, we go through everywhere. a distribution service that puts it um, on. It's like. Deezer, iTunes, Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify. Ain't no one using Deezer. What is Deezer? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're, you're a Deezer young. user. But I'm the only one who's in this Deezer. room. Don't right know Deezer, so. man. Oh, yeah. Bro, what you know about I was, Deezer? I was born in 99, so I get it. They don't. I was born in 2000. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one year difference is, is how you know about Deezer. Yeah, I was watching Rugrats and listening to Deezer. Gabe was watching I, I guess. Yo Gabba Gabba and listening to. <laughs> Yo, Yo Gabba Gabba is great. Yo Gabba Gabba is great. Yeah, we could talk about that some other time. Um, anyways, yeah, it's on everything, and then we have a YouTube channel uh, where we post. We have like YouTube music, but we also made all of our own music videos. All of the music videos we've made were with a camera guy, um, except for the newest one. Uh, and the, uh, scariest part, Adam Vasquez helped us make. He has great uh, like. Digital media, uh, digital art that he makes. Is that the one where you're on the farm, kind of? That, no, uh, that's the scariest part. Has me with the pumpkin head on. The newest one is on on a farm, my cousin's farm. That's what. That's Chinatown. We had a oh. photographer line. Our photographer, he d- has done all of our photo shoots. His name's David. Amazing photographer. He was going to come David. and he, he ate gas station chicken and got sick the night before. <laughs> and it was already a reschedule. It was like days before the song came out. Oh, so we went, laugh. we went and I had just had my GoPro and I, we filmed it all to yeah, get all of us just yeah, switched off the camera. Just, yeah. I thought that was a really fun video. I Thank watched you. that one. That was the only uh, homework I did in preparation for yeah. this whole thing well, was it's, it's follow you on Instagram and watch that video. Right on, man. Because uh, well, I like to be surprised, which is you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> sounds I awesome. edited that in like six hours. Over the span of two days, and it just w- and the day the song came out two days later, so we just were like, all right, this is what we were rolling with, and the yeah. music video came out. I like it now. Uh, do you do uh, like releases, like here's our song, and it's like so you're all leading up to possibly some event that happens in September. Yeah, we'll keep September first bookmarked because we got some announcements mm-hmm. on it. We got our first mm-hmm. big announcement, sort of related to it. On Friday, two days from now. Okay, right? so it's Wednesday. <laughs> so so if someone wanted to f- <clears throat> to hear any announcement that you had, would they follow you on at Instagram? Probably Instagram. That's primarily Milk what Street uh, what we band? do. Yeah, it's Milk Street Band, but it's written out like S T R E E T, and that's everything like TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Milk Street Band, like that. But we spell it Milk S T. But if you use the new Spotify AI thing, I found out it says. Looks like you've been listening to Milk Saint a lot. <laughs> Milk Saint. <laughs> and I was like, that's actually God. pretty good. <laughs> Maybe you should Saint. consider it a, a, a change. Gosh, Maybe you should be Milk Saint. Milk Saint. Um, um, is is Milk Street a street up there, or is that because there's a Milk Street in Portland that's well, kind of infamous? Okay, so I came up with the name Milk Street. Mm-hmm. We were, I think, we had just seen it's the really band like Joyce Milk. Manor in Which Boston. Is Gabe and Mai's like what At founded Roadrunner. us as like a like me playing music together was Joyce Manor and Fiddler. Go on. Yeah, so, and we were just coming home. It was latest, it was probably 3 a.m. or something. We're driving through Boston. And I just see the sign. I'm like, what the? Milk Street. And it was like it came out of a dream right to Perfect. me. Perfect. Yeah, and we were like, we almost crashed the car right in front of it. It was this whole thing. I like whipped it around, and like we were just trying to get home and get out of there. And we were like, ah, like just, it was just a moment that we had, and it said Milk Street. And it's like, that's such a goofy, stupid name. And I was like, that's <laughs> the name. Yeah, was, that was the one that hit. Yeah, in, in Portland, there's a street called Milk Street where there, there's a, a hotel called the Regency, and there's a statue of a dolphin on it. Um, 
I, I'm surprised you haven't yeah. uh, visited Milk Street in Portland. It's right in the old port. It runs we off exchange. We will soon make a stop. You should it go is. to the, the Regency Dolphin statue. Yeah. And then there used to be a club that back in, in, in my youthful, more closer to your age days, called the Ale House that was right on Mill Street that uh, has been sadly closed, but was a fun place to go. That's they had like a big rope swing inside. Like you oh. could sit and be on the There's swing. There's nothing People cool would, like, like that now. Yeah, no, there really is. I, Portland I, is a lot different than it than it than it was. I will say, apparently in Boston on Milk Street, there's a lot of like house shows and like uh, oh. like, like local punk shows. Yeah, so my brother was oh, which was that. totally cool. accidental. Yeah, yeah which we, we didn't plan that out, but that's not funny. Just how it panned out. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, um, and it's also a cooking show that. There's a cooking Fun show fact, called Milk Street. For the yeah, it's like super popular. When I said Milk Street, my grandma was like, "Look at the cooking show," and I was like, "Okay, like that might be an issue." <laughs> but we, I like for the longest time, if you looked up Milk Street on lawyers. YouTube, for the the cooking show would pop up first. And finally, as of like yesterday, I was at my girlfriend's house, um, and I looked up Milk Street on her like YouTube on her TV, and the, like the second thing that popped up was the new music video, and I was like, "Sick!" So it, finally, if you type in Milk Street on YouTube, it's like Milk Street. You don't have well, to type in, like, band, music, anything. To like be that. fair, at least we don't have a ton of audience overlap, I would assume. <laughs> Christopher uh, Kimball, but, that's uh, his name. Moms love Milk Street, Christopher so maybe Kimble. we're not far off. Moms love Milk Moms Street. Love Moms love Milk Street. Street. You should get a tattoo Street. of that. <laughs> um, That'll be the next one. The I next one. Uh, yeah, right on. Yeah. So uh, I should ask, you have, You said you only have two more songs that you're going to play? Uh, unless you want us to do three. We can do I would three. love you to play as much music as okay. possible. We have about 23 minutes left. So... Um, but you guys are repartee masters, so right we can on. keep talking for as yeah, long as you man. want. But um, but like the music is the most important thing, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, um, so we have free us in cycles. Did we have anything else planned? Play for oh, we Vermont. should play. We should absolutely play Vermont. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's fine. Yeah, I don't care. It's not going to be a single. We were going to play all of our singles basically, but okay. we have one. We can play the, t- the title track to the new album. Ooh. Yeah. That's that's really cool. It's one of our favorites outside of the singles. It's definitely my favorite. Well, Other than I love Jesus Fish Taco. There's, this is spoiling a lot. <laughs> this is spoiling a lot. But this, yeah, okay. We'll play. <coughs> this song is untitled. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Al- allegedly. It's allegedly untitled. called Vermont. <laughs> All right. Ready? So, uh, yeah. Um, Milk Street on Locomotives, WMPG.
making it. That sounded great. Thank you. Thank it sounded you. really good. We were we were talking about um about show stuff while we listened. Um so that's the lead single from Oh wait, hold on. That's the Now now we can talk better. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's the uh that's the title track. Title track. That that's won't even be coming out as a single, so that's a little taste. Not even that's a single. Cool. Now that's how do you, you do you do digital singles mainly? Like is that like do you like do do you like actually release like physical singles? Mm, no, uh, we <sighs> do physical albums. We do physical albums, but we've only released digital singles. I've tossed around yet. We have a record label that is helping us that's main based, which they're not um it's not like contractual. It's very cool. They're basically people who used to be in bands. That are just doing it for fun, um, not for fun, but like you know, for business, but because they like it. Exactly, yeah. and it's called Barely Alive Record. It's out of Lewiston, uh, Maine, and uh, great people, so cool, amazing people. They're getting us um, vinyl and all this other stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it would be cool because the second to last single or the, the uh, yeah, second to last single will be have two songs on it potentially so it'd be kind of cool to have like a little exclusive like six inch or something vinyl yeah to do that with and the album art is the single art will be like one of my favorites uh and it will be the baby the idea i have at least i didn't even talk to you guys about it but it's Ooh. a baby picture of me and my cousin that all of these songs are about oh, it's all nice. this the whole album's a concept album it's a narrative about my coming of age story basically um and it's this picture we had on both of our bedsides growing up. That's a little picture of us in swim and like underwear with little floaties on, and we're looking up. And at the bottom of the picture frame, it's a silver frame, and just it's engraved with the word ring bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So, uh, it's uh, it'd that's be cool a great, to have as a great single cover. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Could be an album. Yeah. Ring bearer. Ring bearer. Ooh, it could or be a uh, metal band. Right, right. <laughs> you could do like a metal side project. Exactly. We, <laughs> something we've kind of talked about. Yeah, we're throwing it around. <laughs> throwing it around a bit. Doing the ween thing. Hey, <laughs> um, I my my mom just texted me and told me to turn your vocal mics up. Our vocal mics. <laughs> my mom is listening to the show in Minnesota. I'm, I'm, Thanks, mom. I'm B- Bob's mom. <clears throat> Bob's mom, Carolyn. Thanks for the technical uh, I- I- advice. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's good to know though, because if people are listening, they need to be able to hear what you're saying. So uh, you sound loud to me, but you know, I don't know what the audience can hear. So it's good feedback. Um, so what? Where are we at now? We have a little bit more than 15 minutes. Um, you've got at least two more songs. Yeah, these will both. Uh, these will come out later. They'll both be released as um, uh, singles, but like I said, it'll be like a little, almost like a little EP so teaser for the album. Because um, they kind of, oh sorry, well, uh, they kind of go together. One's about a road trip. Ooh. First one's about a road trip I took uh, with my cousin that kind of started this all, um, and we got offered paraphernalia by a guy. <laughs> in Vermont. Um, the whole album's about a road trip to Vermont, basically. I thought you were going to say That's the whole cool. album's about paraphernalia. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not too far <laughs> off. <laughs> and uh, uh, we have a... Uh, yeah. Uh, and the second song is a very, very personal song that kind of sums up... Um, Weed's legal. What it was like. It, it was acid, but... <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that? Can I say that? <laughs> I mean, we probably shouldn't go into detail. Okay, but. okay. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, it's, it was I the Swedish weed. We're How not going to get in trouble for that. Huh? I said we're not going to get in okay. trouble for that. Swedish uh, weed, Swedish but uh, I will say that. Um, Okay, so you you're. I don't want to step on your announcements. This yeah, is my no. thing. I yeah. don't want to like be. When, talking about stuff out of turn but you have a full album that's coming out Mm -hmm. in september Mm -hmm. you have album uh, you have all of your music that you've released thus far and everything that you're going to be releasing in the future available on all streaming platforms Mm -hmm. including deezer (laughs) and uh so that would be your spotify your title title yeah yeah, title. title. Okay, that was one I just thought of. Yeah, I didn't title. know. I was like, oh. your, your Spotify, your Pandora, Apple Music, bro. your Pandoras. It is on Pandora. <laughs> All the music's on Pandora. You can listen to our music out of order on yeah. Pandora. Um, Real. Yeah, yeah, you can listen to, to the music. You could do Milk Street Radio and then like listen to a bunch of bands that don't sound anything like you, you can also, afterwards. You can also put our put our song on when you go to bed. If you don't and like our music, you can play our music when you go to bed and loop them. Loop Give it. us money. And oh, <laughs> that's a good. That's. I think they changed it so that that doesn't work anymore, right? Uh, uh, if it's all from the same IP address over time. Yeah. Oh, that's. But cool. if your mom and your grandma and everyone else who doesn't like us does it, who's Spotify to say <laughs> that my mom doesn't <laughs> love Milk Street? I mean, I bet it. if anyone 
loves them the most, it would be your your mom. <laughs> my it, my, it would my, be my mom's mom. very supportive, and Moms I love her love very much. But I do not think she likes. Them. I mean, my my mom is listening right now in Minnesota to this radio show just because I'm on it. My mom would not be listening no, yeah. to this, like you know. Right, it's like that's what moms, I'm saying. Moms are great support. My yeah, for grandma real. told me she binge watched all of my music videos the other night, and I went. Oh no! Because <laughs> <laughs> of, them of all the Gabe, paraphernalia. Gabe goes. <laughs> like that's how it starts. <laughs> with, a, with a cigarette. <laughs> you put it out there. You can't be uh, too judgmental about who sees it. Yeah. I, I was like, oh well. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta YOLO, right? You gotta live. <laughs> you gotta live. You my gotta gra- my live. grandma was my age once. Yeah, that's true. That's so fact. And she that said is, it's uh, And I think true. about that often. All grandmas were your age once. Mm. That's every that's single true. one. I was trying to think of his exceptions, but that's true. There's no, say, there's no exception to that one. That I can think of anyway. Um, anyway, you got another song. Yeah, uh, we have two more. Then this, the last one again is very. Uh, we've actually. Um, you have only one more song or two more songs? Two, two more songs. Two more songs. But the last one we're gonna play is a lot of it's just gonna be on acoustic guitar, and it's it's the most emotional song I've ever written, like personal and, and genuine. And I've been nervous. We've never played it live because of that ever. We played some of these songs at like little gigs and stuff. Um, but yeah, we never played it live, and it's and it's. I've been really uh, genuinely anxious to, to play it. But oh wow! WMPG exclusive footage it's of Jonah exclusive. crying. Yeah, I, I got the first time we all played it together. It got all tear, a little emotional. But and everyone that is involved is gonna know exactly what it's about, and it's gonna be. They're gonna call me and be like, "That was really rough to hear," and it's gonna be like, "Yeah, but I'm not like that anymore, so we're good." <laughs> Well, I we'll look forward to hearing it. Uh, <laughs> what are we going to hear this time? What's the next one? This song's called Free Acid. Okay. <laughs> oh. Till 3 a.m. For all I could ever want. All oh, the smoke was just starting to hit my blood as we cruised into Vermont. Come to think of it, you never even knew my middle name. And come to think of it, I never even knew. shops and I can be naked when I want Come to think of it they always knew my middle name And come to think of it they never even cared if I was sane And I know they'll always believe my story I'm not sure Fun. And now I know you don't care Now I 
I just want to point out, <coughs> I have such bad vision without my glasses on. I'm out of contacts, and I hate wearing my glasses. Man so cannot see this. at all right now. Harry's face, literally, I can only see, like, the white of his he face. He told me I look like a and raccoon it, right now. Because his, his eyes are just black sockets. Like, everything's <laughs> blurry. I can't even see the neck of my guitar from where I am, and I've never wow. played that solo live, ever. It sounds I've great, only man. played it, like, on, like, got, like, finally, I got, like, the temp take, and it sounds great in recording. Never played sure. it. Attempted it even practicing. Hey, listen. I'll, can't I'll, see, I'll bro. Join you, I'll join you in solidarity. Uh, now you're a blur to me. That's good. <laughs> Bro, I like <laughs> I can't read whatever this says. I can't read the clock. Like it's your 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 vision is definitely worse than mine. Actually, I'm <laughs> it's gonna. It's not a digital clock. You couldn't um, read it anyway. Well, but, uh, so <laughs> we have. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take a, a second to remind everyone listening that uh, this is local motives on WMPG. We're on the we're on live as as often as we can, at least three times a month with live music, and always local. Always local is local motives on WMPG and Milk Street has been joining us today. They are awesome and just shredding it in there and absolutely love them. Uh, I want to tell just to follow up on a previous conversation that my grandfather's orthopedic pro- uh, practice was on Broadway across oh. from John Baps. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no way. I, I lived there for me. a little bit, right? Probably in the same one. In one of those like walk up apartments. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah my yeah. grandparents lived there as well, like way back in like Which the. One? Uh, I don't know the the at the uh, specific address, the but like, was it like big stone steps that go up? Yeah, on the far left, the very end. If you're looking at the buildings, all the way on the left, my friend Matt lived there. I crashed on his couch for like a whole summer, and there was a lot of debauchery going on. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll s- since my mom's listening, let's spare. Her. <laughs> but sorry, that's really sorry, funny. Uh, but uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, as a child, I spent time in that. In that, uh, I had it was a uh, yeah so anyway um next up after this show is global grooves with rick and elaine so definitely stay tuned for that because that show is amazing we've got milk street for one more song which is going to be called uh it's called cycles cycles and uh this is a uh, never played live so this is a wmpg exclusive and let's just remind everybody that as c- in community radio you hear things that you're never going to hear or that no one has heard or all kinds of things and it's always uh, you know a show like this is always a little chaotic and it's always uh it's always fun and uh and please stick with us i went to uh, i just want to um really briefly um mentioned that uh, I went to an international uh, open mic night last week with our our engineer Morgan and uh, we've booked up a bunch of folks to come on and sing from like uh, Vietnamese artists uh, we have like some African artists like a lot of really cool stuff coming down the pipeline plus I've got the show booked at right now through eight August so a lot of local bands that you've heard of you might be uh, very excited about but week to week you're never going to really know exactly what's coming up so uh, please stick with us on our Wednesdays at 730 and support local music and 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 be engaged and go see these bands uh, and artists and musicians and uh, and go see them go see them live and support them support Milk Street uh, and all the streaming platforms and all of those things where you can get their music Milk Street band on Instagram and also thank you guys so much for coming on the show I really appreciate man. you coming down I'm glad we got it together finally as months in the making because this is your second time you you were booked and there was a snowstorm last time. there was yeah it was a chaos it was a chaos time <laughs> um but anyway so here is milk street uh, t- playing us out with cycles yep. uh premiere of a song from them yeah i never played it live awesome all right thanks again you'll do great jonah <laughs> Oh, Just God. don't think of all the friends and family you'll be upsetting while singing this song. <laughs> You're going to do great. Yeah, friends and family. Why do y'all got to be so mentally ill? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. And they give it to me. All right. He says you got to book family cycles while you're young. Because depression and anxiety are definitely in your blood, so don't hold on to the old way. Be the spark of hope in the new way. Oh, I don't know, but I've been told there's not many more ways to scold me than both of you guys did. Broken homes and broken wrists, saw tear stains and bloodshot eyes from parents who were demonized and paved way for a messed up kid. There's lessons learned from what she did. You gotta break the family cycles while you're young. Cause depression and anxiety are definitely in your blood, so don't hold on.
on to the old ways Be the spark of hope in the new way On the radio On the radio How's it feel to love When you're reading signs sent from above That were never there at all Hope the therapist can catch your fall Cause it never worked for him for the grandfather, the original sin Now there's lessons to be learned From the Aerosmith blasting out of his urn Break the family cycles while you're young Cause depression and anxiety Are definitely in your blood So don't hold on to the old ways Be the spark of hope in the new way Oh, how's it feel to love when you're reading signs sent from a on the radio You're all up a therapist could break your fall Cause it never worked for him For the grandfather The original sin Not broken homes and broken wrists Broken homes and broken on the radio That's all she wrote <clears throat> Down. 